Sairam children. So we are back with our English composition class. Okay. We are going to learn something very interesting today. We have already learnt paragraph writing. Yes. And we have learnt picture composition also. Right. In paragraph writing, you were given a topic and you were to write 6 to 8 lines on it. Picture composition was you were given a picture. You had to observe the picture and write a composition based on it. Now today, we are going to learn essay writing. So what is essay writing? What is an essay? Let us see that. Okay, so let's learn essay writing today. What is an essay? An essay is a long connected piece of written composition on a given topic. Okay? Any given topic. In children in paragraph writing, you are writing just 6 to 8 lines on a given topic and that's it. But an essay is a long connected piece of written composition on a given topic and it expresses one's personal ideas or opinions. Okay? So, any topic given to you, whatever ideas you have related to that topic, whatever you know or whatever you can find out, what is your opinion about the topic, all that put together forms a good essay. So, whatever is one's personal ideas or opinions, that is mentioned in the essay. Okay, it is a composition made up of several paragraphs. Okay, so there are many paragraphs to a composition. Many paragraphs writing about the same topic, on the given topic. So a topic is given to you. You are writing your ideas or your opinion or whatever you know about that topic in different paragraphs. Okay. So, a good essay should have a minimum of three paragraphs. A well-written essay usually has a title and a minimum of three paragraphs. Okay? So, the essay has a beginning, a middle and an end. A beginning, that means a start. A middle, that is the main portion of the essay. And an end, that's the conclusion. Okay, now how do we structure this? Basic structure of an essay. The first most important thing is you have to write a title to the essay. Whatever topic is given to you, based on the topic, think of a nice title and give a title to the essay. Okay, and then the essay is divided into three distinct parts. First, the introduction, then the body, which is the main part, and then the conclusion. Okay? The introduction, that is the beginning, is of one paragraph. It is generally a short paragraph. Then you have the body, that is the middle portion, which is the main part. It can be of one or more than one paragraph. Depending on the number of points that you have to describe, you can make it as one paragraph if it's a short essay. You, if you have more points to discuss, if, if you have more points to describe, then it can be more than one paragraph. And then finally the end will be a conclusion, which is again one paragraph. Okay, so basically an essay has minimum of three paragraphs. A good essay has minimum of three paragraphs. The introduction, that is the beginning. The body, that is the middle portion. And the conclusion, that is the end. So, the body, that is the middle portion, the main part, can be of one or more than one paragraph. Is it clear? Now, what are this introduction, body and conclusion? What are we supposed to write here? Okay, let's see that. Introduction is the beginning of an essay. Whenever we start with an essay, the purpose of this is to introduce the topic to the reader. It is usually shorter than the rest of the paragraph. Now, any topic that is given to us, 
before writing about the topic we need to give a short introduction a brief introduction to the reader about what the topic is okay so the first para which is the beginning of an essay is a brief introduction of the topic to the reader it is usually shorter than the rest of the paragraph you don't have to write a very lengthy introduction it will be very short just what it is you are telling them what is the topic about what you are talking yes for example if the topic is my school you will say my school's name is shri ma vidyalaya yes and it is in thane it's in thane west so the basic introduction you will be giving in the first para then the next is the body which is the main section of an essay the main part of an essay which gives most amount of the detail about the topic the topic is described in detail in this section so when you think of the topic whatever points you know about that whatever points or your ideas you want to describe is described in this section it can be divided into several paragraphs as we discussed earlier you can divide it into many paragraphs with major points being covered in each paragraph all the important points you can take it one point in one paragraph and then describe it next point in the next paragraph then describe it so depending on the major points that you have you can decide on the number of paragraphs you want to have but minimum it should have three paragraphs okay and the final part the final para will be your conclusion which is the end of an essay okay it marks the end of an essay it sums up the essay and restates the important points of the topic including the writer's views and opinions within one paragraph this essay is actually a summary of what you have written so you restate the important points that you have discussed and then you also put in your opinion or your view and you end the essay here your conclusion is again just one paragraph not more than that okay children it uses words or sentences that signal the end of the essay you use such words in your conclusion that the reader comes to know okay the essay is ending here this is the end of the essay okay so is it clear the first thing that you need to do is give a title to the essay and then the essay is just uh, divided into three parts the introduction the body and the conclusion okay now there are some steps that we need to keep in mind while writing an essay right for everything that we do we have certain steps that we follow the same way the essay writing also has some steps which we have to remember first thing an essay is written on the basis of a given topic okay a topic will be given to you and based on that topic you have to write an essay so what will you do first thing you see the topic you will spend time thinking about the topic once you get the topic you will start thinking what you know what are your ideas about the topic what do you know about it you will ask questions related to the topic and find answers to them okay ask questions and find the answers to them write down your ideas and information as points to draft into an outline for the essay whatever comes to you your mind regarding the topic given to you just keep writing it down remember we did this in picture composition also yes whatever was in the picture we were jotting it down the same way when a topic is given to you whatever comes to your mind whatever ideas you have or whatever knowledge you are able to gather about the given topic start writing it down as points so that afterwards you can frame them into an outline for the essay once you are done with writing down all the points 
then you will think of how you are going to divide these points into three parts. So you have to arrange these points carefully in proper order. What will you include in your introduction? What will be your main part? And what will be your conclusion? So whatever points you have jotted down, you are going to arrange them carefully in proper order. Order. Yes, children. Use appropriate words and good vocabulary. Right words and good vocabulary doesn't mean you have to use difficult words. Very simple and easy words that come to you, use them. See to it that these words are not repeated again and again in your essay. The words or the sentences that you write should not be repeated again and again in your essay. Okay? So keep in mind to use simple words, easy words and see to it that you don't repeat them again and again. Right? And finally, after you have written down the essay, after you have completed the essay, review the essay. That means read through the essay to ensure all the points have been included. Read the full essay once again and see to it that all the points you had noted down, you had written down, have been included in the essay. Correct any spelling mistakes that you find or any grammatical mistakes, the punctuation marks. See that everything has been done properly. Any changes to be made, you can make it at this stage. Okay? So, a good essay involves a good title, yes, and thinking about the topic. As soon as you get the topic, don't just start writing. Think what you know, what is your idea, what is your opinion about it. Ask questions so that you get answers to those questions. And write down everything in a rough paper or a rough page, okay. And then arrange them in a logical sequence. We have learned in our picture composition also that all the points that we write down should be arranged in a logical sequence. Yes, and then write a creative introduction and a very meaningful conclusion. You don't have to write big introduction or big conclusion. Write small to the point introduction and conclusion. Okay, so today let us write an essay on my favorite season okay children so the points are clear everything is clear to you how we are going to write yes most of the same steps are similar to what we have done in paragraph writing or in picture composition only thing is the essay is going to be longer than your paragraph or picture composition okay so let us see let us write an essay on my favorite season so shall we start? Okay. Now children, you all know how you are supposed to write it in your composition book. Yes, this is your composition book. Correct? In composition book, do we write on our left hand side? No, we always write it on the right hand side. Yes? So, today also the essay, we are going to write it on the right hand side. And what do we do on the left hand side? On the left hand side, we will just write the topic. So, what is the topic that we are doing today? Essay writing. Write today's date children on the margin and write the heading essay writing. And then we will write the question. Write an essay on my favorite season. Write an essay on my favorite season. Okay. Now when we think of my favorite season, what are the points that come to our mind? What are the three seasons? So write down the points. Three seasons. 
favorite season winter it can be anything what is your favorite season you will write down that the months that these seasons which are the months during which we have the season what are the changes that takes place in our surrounding what are the fruits and vegetables available during this season what is the food that we eat what are the clothing clothes that we use during this season any specific festivals that we are fond of celebrating in this season and what do we like to do most during this season these are some of the points that came to my mind and i have written it you all can think of points yes you all can also think of any more extra points that you get and you all can jot down the points then arrange them properly decide how you are going to write how you are going to frame the sentences and then we will start writing the essay okay so the points i have written here you can always write it in your rough book or on a rough page and then we start with writing the essay essay is always written on the right hand side okay so on the right hand side on the top what are we supposed to write first title correct we will write the title on the top so what is the title for this what title can we give the question is write an essay on my favorite season so let us give the title as my favorite season okay so we will write my favorite season on the top yes the heading the title is written as my favorite season now let us start writing the essay three seasons so what will i write in india we have three main seasons summer monsoon and winter the winter season is my favorite season this season brings it sorry this season begins in november and extends till february okay so in india we have three main seasons summer monsoon and winter winter season is my favorite season this season begins in november and extends till february that means we have winter from november to february in india yes winter is my favorite season i have written winter you all can decide on your season after this this is the introduction children after this i have put a cross here okay this cross is for you all to know that you have to leave a line after every paragraph you don't have to put the cross children this cross is just for you all to know that you have to leave a line after every paragraph okay so now after giving this paragraph we will write the next paragraph the coldest time is at the end of december and beginning of january it snows in some of the northern parts of the country where the temperature is very low okay so i'm writing the coldest time is at the end of december and beginning of january it snows in some of the northern parts of the country where the temperature is very low right like places like jammu and kashmir it snows over there you have ice falling over there when it is very very cold okay so people wear warm clothes or woolen clothes to protect themselves so once you have come till here there is no place you want to turn your page after turning the page again you will not write on the left side you are going to continue writing on the right hand side so here it will be protect themselves from the severe cold yes
Now again, I have completed this paragraph. I'm going to start writing a new paragraph. So I'm going to leave a line. Yes, so I put a cross so that you know that you have to leave a line. And then we start with the next paragraph. In this season, we like to drink hot milk, tea or soups. A lot of fresh and green leafy vegetables are available that are good for our health. Also, carrots are available in abundance. Abundance means a lot of carrots are available in this season. And my mother prepares a yummy dessert with it. Lots of fresh fruits such as apples, grapes, kiwis and oranges are also available. Now children, just notice introduction is I just told you about the season and my favorite season, right? The next paragraph I wrote about the season, how it is, what clothes we wear, how it is in some places, right? After that, now the next paragraph we are talking about food, vegetables, fruits, what are available in this season, okay? So what is in this season, in the winter season, we like to drink hot milk, hot tea or soups, right? Mummy gives you everything hot, hot to drink because it is very cold outside. Then a lot of fresh and green leafy vegetables are available that are good for our health. Also, carrots are available in abundance and my mother prepares a yummy dessert with it. Lots of fresh fruits such as apples, grapes, kiwis and oranges are also available. So I have written about food, fruits and vegetables in this paragraph. That's it. Now next paragraph, again I am going to leave a line and start with my next paragraph. Okay, so now I will write about what I like to do, what festival I like to celebrate. Yes, so here we write... In this season, we get Christmas and New Year holidays for a week, right? In the month of December, you all get Christmas holidays, right? So, in this season, we get Christmas and New Year holidays for a week. I enjoy playing games with my family and friends. What do you like to do in this vacation? You like to play games with your family and your friends, yes? And sometimes we go on sightseeing tours and have lots of fun together. Sometimes you also go out with your parents, your family and your friends, right? And have lots of fun together. So, in this paragraph we wrote that what is it that you like to do in this season? So, you get a holiday, a Christmas and New Year holiday for a week. You enjoy playing games with family and friends also go for sightseeing too and have lots of fun together again i've completed this paragraph i'm going to leave a line here and now i'm going to write the final paragraph the end that is the conclusion so i enjoy my favorite season of winter playing games with my family and friends right so finally, I'm writing, I enjoy my favorite season of winter, playing games with my family and friends. Okay, children, understood? Yes, introduction is you give a brief information about the topic. Then you write points related to the topic. What is your idea? What is your opinion? Yes. It can be a one paragraph or more than one paragraph. After writing that, finally you write the conclusion. What is your opinion? What is your idea about the topic? Yes? Understood all of you? Keep in mind that essay writing should always be written on any comp uh, thing, any topic in your composition book should be written on the right hand side only the question is written on the left hand side okay and leave a paragraph after every uh, sorry leave a line after every paragraph 
yes also keep in mind that you will start the paragraph from the margin you don't have to leave any space is it clear children did you all understand go through this composition once again see what we have written try to understand and try to write this in your you can write any of your favorite season not necessary you have to write winter only you can write summer also you can write monsoon also anything okay so go through this composition once again maybe two or three times and try writing it in your own words okay children now i have an assignment also for you you have to write an essay on my favorite game yes this is the homework take your own time read books maybe find out about the games find out what is your favorite games write down the points yes and write a nice essay on this okay children now okay children one very important thing you all must be having your value education book right children you all have to read the lessons given in that book they are basically stories moral stories or very nice stories you will have fun reading them read them there are some questions given at the end you all can just try answering those questions yeah read the stories 3 to 4 times you have to do this on your own because in your semester exams in your essay 1 you will be having your value education exam also it will be a mcq type of a paper right mcq type of questions will come so you just have to read the lesson 4 to 5 times understand the lesson the portion for this is given on the last page of your value education book on the last page of your value education book it is mentioned which are the lessons that you will have for your first semester right is it clear and one more thing children are you all doing your cursive writing yes i had told you all that every saturday and every sunday you have to write one page of your cursive writing book are you all doing it good very good do it continue every saturday sunday do one page each of the cursive writing book okay children so we'll end today's session here yes bye sai ram